Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. Thank you so much for watching my videos. This video, we will be talking about Ship Security Officer. Ship Security Officer 99.9999% is always Chief Officer. Okay, so we will basically see what Chief Officer does for the security measures on the ship. Please do like this video if you like the content and also comment if you have any inputs for the same or you need any more clarifications and you can also share it with your friends and colleagues who are also interested in learning about uh, machine navy and what are the duties who takes care of what duties etc etc and also subscribe to the channel and also watch this video in the maritime platform.com where you can get many more maritime videos like this thank you so much let's jump into the video okay ship security officer as i mentioned it is always almost it is chief officer's duty so chief officer takes on additional duty as ship security officer okay let's let's go one by one uh, about uh, what are the duties of the chief officer or rather the ship security officer these are all too technical so if you are not a seafarer don't worry i will try to explain as much as possible where uh, you know that it is not very uh, easy to understand for a layman okay and i'll try to keep the video very very simple so that anybody can understand who is not a seafarer as well okay the ship security officer performs many functions undertaking regular security inspection this, this is pretty straightforward he he ensures the ship is always secure in case of uh, with respect to security okay so he always takes rounds checks uh, the doors which are needs to be closed or closed which needs to be locked or locked etc etc okay so he takes regular rounds so that the ship he feels is always secure maintain and supervising the ssp including any amendments to the ssp maintaining the ssp first first we have to understand ssp we had a video earlier on company security officer who is the shore side representative for security from the company okay in that video i had explained what is ssp how is it done etc etc so i'll just briefly tell you here and if you want to know in a detailed manner and what company security officer does also you can watch my video there okay so ssp is basically ship security plan okay so this is basically a booklet if you go on the ship you will be seeing a book where you know this security ship security plan is there and and it is a very confidential documents to say okay so it is not open in you cannot see it in launch or you cannot uh, uh, you know take a soft copy or uh, xerox or something like that okay so it is kept with master and it is a very very confidential document which has a lot of details about the security points for the vessel it also has there is something called a citadel okay in case of pirate attack or something like that where all the crew will muster etc etc and you have details of ship security alert system okay from the ship where you you would have seen in movies where they they click a button and automatically the bell rings in the police station like similarly we have something on the ship also for the ship security the master should needs to press this button and automatically the flag the company will know there is some security issue on the ship but there will be no indication on the ship okay this is called ship security alert system there are two places uh, in the vessel where it is kept so that is also all these details are mentioned along with many contact details everything is mentioned in this plan okay what are the accesses what are the entrances what are the equipments on the ship with regards to safety you have night vision binoculars you have lot of seals etc etc so there are many list of uh, equipment which are also kept for the security you you make dummies with uh, wearing boiler suits etc etc you know so all these details are mentioned in the ship security plan ship security plan who makes it when it is made it is made by the ship security officer and approved by the company security officer and also finally approved by the flag okay the flag of the vessel also approves the ship security plan okay so now coming to the point maintaining and supervising the ssp including any amendments to the if, if there is any changes to the ssp the ship security officer initiate to the company security officer he has to maintain it 
so that all the uh, there are lots of list of drills you know uh, which, which is mentioned in the ssp so as per that all the drills to be conducted any equipment so there all the maintenance should be there the manual itself should be kept uh, very safely etc etc all those related to ssp the chief officer or the ship security officer takes care what are the security aspects of handling the cargo and ship stores well with other shipboard personnel and relevant port facility security officers okay so again when when she is coming for loading or discharging to the port there again the actual actual threat increases in the port as well you know the on out at ship out at sea it is only the pirates who can come on come by the boat where you have a continuous watch people are not doing anything but in case of port people are all engaged in cargo work everybody is busy everybody is doing their duties maybe the ship has just berth everybody has been working and some some part of the crew have gone for rest these are all very vulnerable so ship becomes very very vulnerable when the ship comes to a port so that time you have to be extra vigilant though the security officer again i have mentioned the, the designation of port facility security officer in my previous video of company security officer so port facility security officer is the in charge on in the port for the security measures when the ship is there okay so in that case where the ship has come alongside the ship security officer sign something called the dos declaration of security okay there is a document which is exchanged between the port facility security officer and the ship security officer so this this is issued by the ship security officer telling that i am on level 1 level 2 or level 3 this is all there in the isps code we will not go into that deep uh, we are just discussing what is the duties of the ship security officer okay so let's let's stick to that topic and if you want you let me know in the comments i will make a separate video on the different uh, levels of uh, isps code and what is isps code etc etc so the ship security officer coordinates with port facility security officer in the port with regards to the security measures on the ship proposing modification to the ssp ssp again you know it's it's made when the first uh, uh, ship security plan is made so the chief officer takes out uh, the information and then send it to the company security officer so it, it it does not mean that you know it is written on stone and you cannot change it so if there is any change in the construction of the vessel or there is any realization that you know this door also should be included or this should not be included or etc etc all these changes, changes can, can be suggested, suggested by, by the ship security, security officer or the chief officer, officer to, to the company, company for changes to be made in the ssp reporting to company security officer any deficiencies identified during internal audits periodic reviews security inspections and verification again you know uh, he reports all the security details to the company security so company security officer is basically the overall in charge of security of the vessel so information or any details which the chief officer or the ship security officer notices which is not as per the ship security plan then he has to immediately inform to the company security officer okay so that is that is what mentioned is in the point coordinating implementation of ssp with company security officer and the relevant port facility so again coordinating implementation of the ssp the, the ssp is made okay now it has to be implemented implemented in the sense you, all the procedures are followed all the contact details are present so you need contact details of the port facility security officer when you are coming ashore so all these details what is mentioned in the ssp has to be implemented at every port okay so if if the port facility security is, officer is not approachable by the ship then the sso has to inform the cso and cso will establish communication with the port facility security officer which is our pfso and he will get relevant information which is required for the ship from the port facility security officer so sh ship security officer will initiate the communication and coordination between ship security officer company security officer and port facility security officer Okay. Ensuring that security equipment is properly operated, tested, calibrated, and maintained. So I had mentioned there is a lot of uh, many uh, equipment, security equipments on the ship, and uh, all needs to be maintained. You can have a camera, you know, which is high powered, and all those things. So all these things you can have floodlights. All these things should be maintained and should be checked regularly. So in case of any emergency, you can actually use them. and i think security awareness and vigilance on board again this is again a very standard practice and this is a very standard line kind of a thing where the chief officer always tells or guides takes classes in the crew for the crew you know explaining them what is what are the security 
lapses which can happen, how the pirates can board on, what are the actual kinds of security situations which can happen, is there a bomb threat or a stowaway or uh, you know there are some unidentified packages, there can be any uh, security breaches you know so he has to keep on explaining to crew, he has to every drill they conduct so he has to take a training on explaining what all can happen etc etc. So thereby you know what happens is basically the awareness increases people might not know the ratings might not know oh I, this is also possible so in that case you know the chief officer takes care or the ship security officer takes care and ensures the depth of importance of this regulation is known by everybody on the ship. Ensuring that training, training is provided, provided to the ship officers, that's, that's what, what I told you. you. We, we have a lot, lot of training which are connected and also the drills are the best way of training where every, every drill there is a feedback taken and there is a post drill review done so that you know what went wrong and what can we learn from this uh, training etc etc. Okay, so this is, is very very important drills and then specific training on specific security breaches where it can happen. Reporting all security incidents. God forbid any security actually happens on the ship, there is a uh, robbery or there is some stowaways or there, there is a pirate attack, maybe it is not boarding but still there was a pirate attack, you know all those things have to be properly recorded and informed to the company security officer, okay. That completes the quick summary of what the company or the ship security officer does. I hope you enjoyed this video and you have gained a lot of knowledge from this video. Please do like it if you found any value in it. Please do comment if you have any negative comments or positive comments about this video or you want me to improve somewhere or you want to add some more points etc etc you can comment and please share it with other friends and colleagues who might also find this interesting. And, and finally, finally subscribe to the channel, channel and please do watch this video on the maritimeplatform.com where you can see many similar videos and gain maritime knowledge for Thank, Thank you so much. much. Have a nice day. Take, Take care. Bye. -bye.